If you're an Amazon seller that wants to be able to spy on your competitors and see what keywords they're ranking for and be able to do it super quick, then you gotta keep watching this video because me and Troy with Seller Tools are gonna be showing you about one of their latest features, a keyword research feature and tool that you really gotta check out. So let's go ahead and jump into it, starting with me introducing you to Troy. What's up, Troy? Hey Ian, so excited to be sharing with you this brand new tool that we've released for keyword research, and that is R2A, Real Reverse ASIN. And if you've been selling on Amazon for any period of time, you know the power of a reverse ASIN search, a reverse ASIN tool to give you the keywords that any ASINs that you include, what they rank for. So it really helps you find those relevant search terms from top highly visible competitors. And we've refined this into a very quick workflow, very powerful, also using some of the best data. We have the advantage of looking all across the marketplace, seeing what tools are out there, what they may be missing, what we want as top sellers, and we've incorporated all of that good stuff into our 2 a So that's why I'm really excited to be sharing it with you. Awesome, so before we start screen sharing and showing you guys how to use this new tool, let me tell you who I am. My name is Ian Smith and I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media. So if you're an Amazon seller and you want help with running Facebook ads or building messenger bots, then I advise you to book a free consulting call with me by heading over to evolvemedia.agency. All right, so let's go ahead and show you Troy's screen. Troy, go ahead and start off with uh, showing how to, how to work this awesome keyword tool. Yeah, absolutely. So here we are in R2A, and I wanna share with you the workflow. There's all kinds of powerful ways to utilize this feature, but I know most are looking for, hey, how do I kind of do five minute keyword research, understanding the power of this tool, the workflow we've created, and making sure we're elevating this activity, not doing it like the masses. What's unique and different in our approach to keyword research? So let me walk you through this flow. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click select products. Now, anytime you run a reverse ASIN, the input is an ASIN, but what we're gonna do is using select products, we'll come over here and then we'll add the keyword that identifies usually our main or master keyword, but easily identifies our product. If somebody asks you what you sell, it's going to be that keyword that you're going to want to include here. So for example purposes, I'm going to use hyaluronic acid serum, product I used to sell, run a search against that keyword, and it's going to go out for me and find the highest ranking ASINs or products for that keyword. Who's winning? Who's most visible for that keyword? And we want to see those and we want to prioritize those, of course, in our keyword research. So along the left hand side here, we see the top ranking products confirmed by this rank column right here which we can sort, as well as BSR, quick visibility into BSR for these ASINs as well. You can, of course, always click through each one of these and view them on Amazon. But what I'm most interested in in this step is selecting those top competitors, prioritizing those that are most visible. Who are my competitors that are winning for my top or main keyword? So I'm gonna skip over the one that's a three pack. My product, again, for this example, is a single hyaluronic acid serum, so I'm picking those that are direct competitors, and we've got about seven ASINs or seven products that we're gonna run, our reverse ASIN. Once we confirm that selection, you're gonna see those ASINs populate in our search. We're gonna go ahead and run our search, and R2A is gonna go out there, find the ranking keywords for these ASINs, and now we're gonna have some fun with the work that it's done for us. Now, the thing I'm gonna highlight for you is probably my favorite filter. This is, this is definitely my favorite filter when you use this tool, Ian, where you can come in here and as a way of determining relevancy, a great shorthand or quick way of finding relevancy is looking at a filter called rank density. What I'm most interested in is you can see all the keywords that have come from that search. I'm interested in a majority of those highly visible uh, ASINs or competitors ranking for any one keyword. So again, with seven ASINs included, I want a minimum of four, a majority uh, that are showing up or uh, confirmed for that rank density. And I'm gonna apply that filter against what is now 3,310 results that we got by just running our reverse ASIN. Once I apply it, you'll notice the filtered keywords dropping down just under 400 keywords. And that rank density filter, now that it's applied, you're gonna see it in this column right here. Again, the number of target ASINs that rank for a keyword since I set it at four, anything at four, five, six, or seven is gonna be displayed. And that tells me, again, for those competitors that are winning these keywords, assuming a fair amount of relevancy, the best in our space, as confirmed by that uh, select products flow, is now visible here. 
And what's a big missing piece in many sellers workflow is the use and inclusion of some of the best data, whether it's the freshness of data, which we've, we have uh, addressed as a major pain point for others, maybe using other tools, but then also incorporating brand analytics. This is powerful Amazon data that helps us to prioritize keywords and lets us know as each and every month, as Amazon shares that valuable data, we can prioritize and say, okay, now that we have relevant keywords, how do we prioritize those in our listing optimization uh, for organic efforts or through our PPC and paid advertising? This really lets us know. And as with BSR, the lower number, the better, but you can come in here, it default sorts by brand analytics. So you can see this number rising, but you can see some obvious keywords, some branded keywords, misspellings. Uh, of course, this product is ripe. It has a ton of misspellings, but those are also keywords showing up in brand analytics. The top million keywords on Amazon that I may not have visibility on, have tabs on uh, with such immediacy without me explaining in about three, four minutes of doing keyword research, I have highly relevant keywords from top highly visible competitors, and then I can prioritize it with that Amazon source data. So Ian, you can see the power of this tool and how simple that process is to really get started. This foundation is is really unmatched in my opinion. Yeah, no, that is really cool. And to be able to just spy on your competitors, I would imagine would be very helpful. I really like the rank density to be able to see the overlap of the competitors with the keywords. Um, anything that's that you wanna add as far as like um, any other little tidbits into how they can play around with this data to, to further help them? Absolutely, one of the biggest additions that we've added, we, we saw this when we really scoured the landscape to see are many sellers doing keyword research somewhat in isolation. They're sort of just looking at their competitors irrespective of their ASIN, whether they're just launching it, whether it's been live for a year. What's important is keyword research being an ongoing effort in your business. And this, this uh, option or feature right here, My ASIN, allows you to come in, select your product that you're actively managing in your Solo.Tools account in your product manager, and add in your ASIN. And this is My ASIN here, My Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I'm going to add it. And what this allows me to do is say, okay, great, these target ASINs, these, uh, these highly visible competitors that are crushing it, well, how am I actually doing at the keyword level and making some informed decisions, some actionable insights from running this type of search? So that's what R2A is doing now is it's looking at my ASIN, it's evaluating it, looking at child ASIN, scouring that data to really see how am I performing? How am I doing at that keyword level? So then I can make some decisions. Do I need to track more keywords? Are there keywords that um, I'm not running a sponsored ad for, but there's an opportunity to do so? Am I ranking for those keywords? Uh, am I successful, as we like to call it, where our, our rank is actually better than any of our target ASINs, so we're winning that keyword? Uh, it's important to be able to have tabs on that so you really know, um, again, at the keyword level, how you're effectively performing. Definitely. All right, so now that we see the results of our ASIN, you can see again, these two columns match up. We can actually do a co direct comparison of the total number of keywords, the number of organic keywords, organically ranking, those that are, are running a sponsored ad for these keywords, AMZ report card results, so Amazon suggested data, those are the same, and then brand analytics. But essentially, this gives you more analysis of how you are doing relative to your target ASINs. Now, we've added seven here. You can add uh, one ASIN, do a heads-up analysis against maybe a top competitor. But again, where these, action, these ac insights become actionable is along this side here as well. We can look at whether we are within the top 50 um, ranking for a given keyword and tracking. So are we winning and is it on our radar uh, within top 50 and not tracking? Are we winning, but maybe we, we don't have uh, tabs on it. We're not keeping it on our radar, but all of these filters allow you to take some of the next steps. Make sure you're tracking. Are you ranking, focusing your ranking efforts? Some of the things that uh, we do in with, uh, with many chat strategies, what we do with Facebook, Facebook ads, we can prioritize keywords, understanding where we stand if we're ranking at all, or if we are successful. And one of the things you'll notice is we've added our ASIN in, is you have additional filtering options here for each keyword. So as I scroll back up, you'll see my ASIN keyword rank. You can see that right on the fly for each keyword that you're actively tracking and how you're performing uh, relative to uh, those target ASINs. And then my ASIN score, which I alluded to some of these metrics here as well, whether we are running a sponsored ad for a keyword, we're tracking it, uh, running, uh, or excuse me, showing up an Amazon suggested or AMZ report card, 
uh, whether we're ranked for that given keyword, and if we are successful. That last S in the stars is success. We want to, of course, be outranking our competition, and you can filter it out. You can make sure, hey, if I'm not successful, I need to prioritize that. If I am successful, maybe I need to deprioritize that, shorten my list of keywords that I'm keeping an eye on on a weekly and monthly basis. So hopefully yeah. this is kind of making sense. And these are really actionable insights that now with the context of best data, uh, with the context of adding in our ASIN and not doing keyword research kind of in isolation, um, these, these insights become far more actionable than just looking at raw data. Yeah, no, it definitely seems very powerful. Guys, if you want to get access to this tool, head over to seller.tools. If you're not yet a uh, user of Seller Tools, you can get a 14-day free trial. Play around with this keyword research tool. So seller.tools, highly recommend it. If you want to book a free consulting call with me, head over to evolvemedia.agency. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value from it, click that thumbs up button and turn it blue. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.